Why'd you study science when you could study Lego science? <laughs> so last year, Ingo Althoffer, Ingo Althoffer, Ingo Athoffer, I'm probably butchering that name, of Friedrich Schiller University in Germany conducted an experiment where they took a huge bucket of old Legos and they put it in a washing machine and did a 70 minute cycle with a spin dry. Now you may be thinking, what's the point? I mean, why put Legos in a washing machine? What he wanted to do was see how many Lego formations would get stuck together after being in the washing machine and going through that spin cycle. And in a totally scientific manner, he went to all his colleagues and asked them to predict what kinds of Lego formations do you think are gonna come out of this experiment? So they proposed their ideas that looked like this, and they were all pretty much wrong. They were all completely wrong. The end result of combinations looking more like this. Now the math behind doing an experiment like this is called the Monte Carlo method. What the method is, is using algorithms to determine what might happen in a complex event. In this case, what might happen would be the Lego structures, and the complex event would be the, the washing machine and the spin cycle. What they do is they then take that data and they figure out which events are most likely to happen. So if you spin enough Legos together, you can predict the probability of which Lego structures are likely to form. Now aside from Legos and washing machines, this method is actually used for things like risk management and event probability. It's also used in other fields like physics and chemistry, where you can study a system that visualizes aspects of entropy and decay and spontaneous self-organization or chemistry and biology, like a Mueller-Urey experiment on amino acid formation in a primordial soup. There's biological computer simulations that study the systems of proteins and membranes and cancer. This method is even used in experimental mechanisms in areas like artificial life. And all of this can be done with Legos, you know, and some very advanced mathematics, but this method can be used to, to find out the inner workings of life. Now all they need to do is figure out the scientific reason why Legos turn into extreme pain-inducing spikes when they're left on the floor in the dark. 